Yo, what up? It's the five for the five diggy from a tribe called Quest. Chilling on Karma Loop. Who are you, son? The DJ roster of the New York City, chilling on Karma Loop TV. Yes, sir. My feelings towards hip hop and where it is today. Life is a cycle. It's gonna come back, come back around to what it used to be. You know what I mean? There's a couple of people out there that I must say are making a name for themselves or make, coming in with their own lane, you know what I mean? Um, the T.I.s, the Quali still does his thing, Common, Kanye, you know what I mean? And then there are others who, they're just, they're not really in it for the long haul. And you can tell in the music, I'm not gonna mention any names cause it's not really what I'm about, I'm just speaking the truth. At the end of the day, like I said, it's gonna come back around to what it once was, hopefully. You know what I mean? And um, I, I, me personally, I really wanted to get back to lyrics again. You know what I mean? Um, nowadays, if the beat isn't hot, I don't even really give it a chance, to be honest. But lyrics will bring the whole, the whole thing back together again. And right now, it's kind of miserable, but it'll come back. I'm, I'm, I'm sure of that. I like J. Cole. I think Corey Guns is a monster. You know what I mean? And he's still young and he's hungry. You can just see it. Um, new show coming out soon. Well, I think it came out yesterday, matter of fact. Um, that's a good look for him. So um, I'm sure his dad is proud. You know what I mean? So he's definitely a problem on the mic. I'm looking forward to Diggy Simmons for the simple fact that what I've heard so far has been hot from him. One. Two, his father made me want to do this. You know what I mean? So. Like, I recruit basketball players, and what I like about that is the challenge of seeing the growth, you know, from high school to college to hopefully the NBA. And that's how I'm looking at Diggy Simmons. Like, I grew up idolizing his father. Now I want to see him and JoJo do their thing. You know what I'm saying? That's how bad I want it. And he's from Queens, so. You know what I'm saying? I'm on his team on the strength. And for the most part, on the way to the studio, I listen to a lot of, um, Hip hop from mid 90s to early 2000s, like the Mob Deep, Mob Deep Infamous album, Mob Deep Hell on Earth album, um, Capone and Noriega's War Report, MOP's Warriors, as well as um, First Family for Life. You know, it's all that hardcore New York stuff that my group wasn't necessarily known for, and rightfully so, because we had our own lane or whatever. But People tend to think because we came how we came, that we don't listen to that stuff, and that's totally not true. And then there are other days that I'm just Easy E and Ice Cubed out, NWA all day. You know what I mean? Cool G rap as well. You know what I mean? So I just listen to a lot of vintage hip hop. That the type of hip hop that reminds me of where I was when I first heard that particular recording. You know what I mean? Like Big Daddy's ain't no half stepping. I just remember being outside playing basketball and the ice cream truck pulling up and everybody had their radios or whatever and that joint was just blasting. And I'm like, yo, this cane cat is crazy. You know what I'm saying? So he was the metaphor, he was the metaphor king, the ladies man or whatever. But even though he was the ladies man, you knew better than to mess with him rhyme for rhyme, line for line. Cause he was just lethal like that. Same thing with LL. That's what I do before I start recording. And not to bite their stuff or anything like that, but I'm just so motivated by the mid 90s and early 2000s. Red Man's another one, you know what I mean? So other times I listen to Ghostface's whole catalog. Cause he's just totally left field when it comes to hip hop in general. You know what I mean? But he's nice. You know, so that's what I do. Rock him. I take seven MCs, put them in a line. You know, you know how I go. That's like the Ellis line, and then um, my name is Rock him a law, and R A stands for all. I switch it around, and it still comes out R. Like who does that? Mm -hmm. That's like, damn son. Like, what was you thinking about? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, and then anything Nas has ever said, pretty much. Nas is a beast. You know what I'm saying, word up. I miss Big too, man. I miss Big because he was the one, you know, between he and Slick Rick, because Slick Rick is known for his storytelling. 
but both of those guys, they paint the picture so vividly. You know what I mean? Like if you're just sitting at home and listening to it and you close your eyes, you can see exactly what they're saying. I love that about Big and Slick Rick. I'll take anything that they've ever said. And, and then Slick Rick's hilarious at the same time. You know what I mean? So I'll take anything those rappers I just mentioned said and run with it and go line for line with any of these rappers out here right now trying to do it. You know what I'm saying? Those guys were like the epitome of perfection. Absolutely. I do think hip hop would be different right now if Big was alive. I don't think a lot of people would even have a chance. You know what I mean? There's a select few who, who've who done it like Big and Jay and you know what I'm saying? I could go on for days, but it definitely would be different if he was here right now. It'd be different if Pac was still here as well. You know what I mean? Because he had his own lane as well. That's, that's what I love about hip hop though. Like the Pox, the Bigs, the Outcast, they're totally left field from what everybody else is doing. Because, and I blame that on radio, I blame that on a lot of labels as well. Because instead of looking for the next best thing, they'd rather cop you off who sold 10, 10 million and how they sold that 10 million and try to rub it off on the next artist instead of looking for the next best thing. That's, that's whack to me. There's only one big, there's only one red man. There's only one trial called quest, you know what I mean?